welcome to my channel, Treetop Flight, where I'm documenting the build of my RANS S21 airplane. Uh, first, a disclaimer, uh, I'm a first time builder. None of my content is instructional. Uh, I'm just documenting my build with a thought that it may have interest to some other people. Um, I'd like to thank my daughter, who is encouraging me to work on my editing. Um, the learning curve on editing is pretty steep, almost as steep as the learning curve on building the plane. And uh, I just gotta, I've got to make some improvements. She's encouraged me in that area and is going to help me in that area. And as one uh, famous philosopher said, little by little. So we'll get there. Um, I'd also like to comment on some changes in the industry. Uh, the FAA uh, is apparently making some movement with the Mosaic project. This is the modernization of special airworthy certificates, I believe, is what Mosaic stands for. And in the uh, area of LSA, light sport pilots, uh, the FAA may be moving to um, allow LSA pilots to fly four place aircraft, which uh, is a good thing. A lot of LSA pilots are LSA because of difficulty getting. Um, medical certificates um, and flying slightly bigger planes is seen as a good thing for the industry, so that's good. Also on the, uh, the front of LODA, the Letters of Deviation Authority, uh, which currently, if you are a builder of an of a experimental airplane and you want to get instruction in your own airplane, uh, you're required to get a, a letter from the FAA allowing that instruction. Uh, that goes somewhat contrary to the thought that the, the industry ought to be encouraging instruction in planes, especially when it's the primary plane you'll be flying. Um, and it looks like there's some movement in that area as well. And that's been a long time coming. Uh, so that's good news. Um, in this episode, I work on the um, cow, boot cowl, which includes the straps and the cowl skins, and it goes pretty well. Some of the builders have commented this is kind of a tricky section. Mine went well. Uh, I got hung up a little bit uh, in the manual on, on, on the straps, uh, and I talk about that in this episode, but I got through it. It's a fairly short episode. I'm also shortening the, the time period or the length of, of my uh, 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 videos. Um, uh, the, my daughter's comment is she thought 20, 25 minutes of watching technical building was a little bit long, so I'm going to try and shorten each of my videos and see how that goes. Let me know in the comments if you like that idea or if you dislike it, you think I, the, the 20, 25 minutes videos are good because it's got a lot of stuff or whether you prefer just seeing shorter, shorter uh, segments of it. Um, but uh, with that, uh, let's get started building that boot cowl and get working on this plane. Thanks for watching. You've got uh, two spacer strips for the top and then two spacer strips for the bottom. And from watching Project S21, Project 21's video, uh, this little machine hole faces the forward side and the curve is where it's going to wrap around the side. So you've got a straight end and a curved end. So you've got the hole forward and then the curve and it's going to slip up in between. I can't do it. I'm holding the camera. It's going to slip in between the top skin and the firewall. Uh, tabs all the way around the same here. Now the problem is is these are all sized 40 holes So you click you click up this way and your skin doesn't have holes in it yet So the skin's gonna rest on top of the clicos and then you get your you get your spacer strips all the way around um, and click out through the through existing holes here and on your firewall tabs up here I've got these spacers uh, click out from the inside with the 40s. I didn't have to remove the cowl skins. Getting around these corners is a little difficult. I had to kind of use my pokey tool and line up each hole and kind of move and adjust them. Once this spacer gets around this corner, it's hard to move. Uh, you just have to work it and get it in there. Uh, so we've got the sides, the two tops, and the other side all. Well, I'm going to dub my comments in here because I didn't like the clarity on the filmed version. The next step says to transfer drill number 30 through the tabs at the firewall. Well, there was no mention of tabs before, so I assume they were a new part of some kind. But after researching, uh, these are the same as the firewall support angles previously mentioned. They say transfer drill them, and I'm assuming they don't say how far. 
but I'm assuming all the way around where I put the spacers in, I'm going to transfer drill to a 30 now. The, uh, the next step uh, is to get this skin match drilled, uh, which is called the top side skin. Uh, and you can see it's pretty flat. You got to get it bent around. Um, I was a little concerned about how to get this to squeeze on there. And then I saw a video from S21 Project. And I got to thank him for the tip. He said to use an Armstrong press uh, to get the curve in there. And I'm thinking another piece of equipment I don't have. But then he demonstrated uh, what the Armstrong press was. And this is the Armstrong press. Just get this piece of aluminum. Kind of bend it around. What you're going to find is it's going to add a little shape to it to go around that corner. The Armstrong press. I'm glad I've got one. Uh, the next step is to transfer drill this upper top skin. Uh, so I've clecoed and clamped it in place. Oh, they say to uh, transfer drill along these number 40s. And then after that, to do the number 30s coming in from the other side where the tabs are. So to set this up, I made sure I had everything flush in the front so it lined up. I took my clecos out here, made sure I had enough overlap uh, for the skin there. Um, made sure I checked underneath to make sure I had enough lip to connect to this uh, center top skin. Made sure I had the clearance here. So it looks like it's all set up to match drill the 40s. I'll get those in place and then uh, it match drill the sides. Uh, that went well, I'm happy with it. Uh, I've got these uh, match drilled to a 40. Remember I had this all clamped and secured and lined up. I, uh, when I put this first uh, Clico in, drilled the first hole, I really clamped this into place because there's a bunch of layers here. You got the strap, the skin, the, the flange from the firewall. So there's a lot there. So I wanted to make sure that didn't move. Uh, the only other thing is I did have to remove my panel, which they said to hold, kind of holds it in place, but everything was kind of steady. I'll put the panel back in when I match drill the other side down. Uh, but in order to get in here and, and uh, where, my, where my rivets are, my, uh, there's my holes up in there. So in order to get up in there, uh, I needed to remove the panel to, to get my drill in here. I did, of course, use a piece of wood and hold it down real tight uh, and then worked my way down and, and riveted as I went. I went through the uh, cage gussets or the tabs first and then I uh, match drilled the extra two inch holes after uh, and that gave me the line. Uh, one thing to remember, the, uh, the Armstrong press worked well, but when I take this off to clean everything up, I am going to have to form this edge. This edge is not quite flat and to give this a little bit of a form, uh, using my forming tool will help bring that flush uh, with this side skin. But I'm happy with it. It looks good. Everyone's kind of said the boot cowl is a hairy process, but so far it's going pretty well. Uh, similar with the spacer strips, number 28 says modify one of the 1.75 inch boot cowl strips. These are actually the boot cowl straps and they're already cut. This one's 29 and a half inches and is the top, is indicated as the top strap. And then you've got two that are side straps and they're all pre-cut. So after determining that, and they, it says remove the top clecos and position inside of the firewall support angles. So these have some number 40 holes. It's going to attach inside the firewall and extend out. I guess I'll get oops, move the plane back a little bit. It's nice that it's on wheels. So it looks like I'll have to take some of this apart, but this is going to go inside the straps and is going to lay somewhere in the middle. And then the side straps are going to get clecoed and it says to uh, drill out to a 30. In order to do this step, I had not seen previously where they told me to transfer drill 
uh, the number 40 holes. Remember this, this forward skin didn't have any holes in it. So in order to transfer drill to a 30 and get this piece clicoed on, I first went through and I transfer drilled the 40s to get the 40s in. Now I'm going through and uh, with this strap, uh, transfer drilling to the 30 Clico. And we'll do that for both the top and the side straps. Uh, prior to getting the side strap on, I did have to put a little curve into it to get it up in there before Clicoing, especially down at the bottom where the curve is a little more dramatic. Um, I used a bending technique. I, uh, I put it over the side of my vise and just kind of bent it as I worked it along and put two nice curves in it. Uh, so that works. And then I'm going to uh, Clico it on with the 40s and then match drill it to a 30. So getting around this corner was a bear. Uh, so trying to pull this down and get it as flush as, whoop, pull it down and get it as flush as I could here, end up using a clamp to pull that, to pull that strap back down into the corner. And then I've got my, my Clicos coming in a couple from the inside to get in there, push it down. And this last one coming up from the bottom. So a tough corner to get flush, but if you work it, uh, you can get it around. Well, I'm, I'm going to end the episode here. As my uh, editing advisor has mentioned to me, uh, maybe shorter videos would be better. Uh, this episode took me 16 and a half hours of build. That brings my project build time to 654 hours. In the next episode, we're going to finish up on the cowl straps, the panel visor, and then get started on the floorboards. So, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And remember, dream it, just build it.